All right, so we are finally back in. So yesterday, I think the last thing we did, so we went to the uh, the cult area that we found, and we uh, found out about what happened there, with all the people, why they went mad. Now we're going back over to Mr. Rog Morton's place tell him what we found so take the left and then go basically all the way up there and uh we'll kind of see what happens i see it's very laggy right now i'm not sure why but okay i can really tell this uh pc here is starting to crap out on me at least I think it's the PC and hope it is so that way when my new one comes in uh, hopefully that will be able to handle NDI a lot better This is really struggling. One sec. Let me try restarting this. Solid 10 frames a second right now. Dude, why is it being like that? Is this where we needed to go? No. Uh, kind of? Nah, not really. Turn around. Holy crap, dude. I didn't even change anything. I literally see it. It's like frozen. I literally changed absolutely nothing other than what I did earlier. Find in the menu. Watch it be doing some sort of stupid update. One sec. Nope. Not. It's even frozen right there. don't understand So weird. Maybe, wait, hold on. Maybe I have to do this again? Find out.
No way. That seems to be fixing it sometimes. When I have games that stutter and I can't tell if it's my monitor that's completely messing up or if uh, something else is going on. Wait, did it just load? Albert Frog Morton. Where's Mr. Throgmorton? Hello. Wait, is this his house? In his manor in Southern Old Grove. Yeah, that's it right here. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. I couldn't even see him. Uh, sir, your shirts. There you go. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? <laughs> the crew of the Titania mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be avenged. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? <laughs> the Innsmouthers were there to kidnap Professor Doe. They ambushed the expedition, captured her, and took the artifact she found. They called it... the Seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? Seems that after the Seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of... mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment, and they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. 
I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Have a good day. Okay. Hey, nice. One knowledge point. Ed? Uh, let's see. So, check skills first. Already got that. Oh, wait. No, we didn't. Uh, extra gun. We got more health. We could increase it by more. Carry seven pistol rounds. Carry one more. Okay. At one point, it seems like you get a rifle, which would be nice. Earn more experience and stay sane for slightly longer. Oh. Gain 50% chance to double quest. Whoa. Quest reward items? Double the quest reward items earned. Whoa. I will gladly take that. I did not realize that the first time around. And our health is definitely a lot more than it was previously. So that's nice too. Okay. So let's stick with this. Um, one of the assailants was killed in a fight. He carried a dagger. This can't be the only. There must be evidence for such crimes throughout the city. Uh, let's see. Amulet, which resembled a fish eye. Delicate matter. Collector of fine arts. This could be it. Was attacked in the depths, depths beneath Oakmont. Captured all this raw left to die. The attackers all had distinctly like features in his mouth syndrome as the locals call it was killed in the fight he carried a dagger with a peculiar words on an amulet which resembles a fish eye this can only can't be the only attack they carried out must be evidence of more such more such crimes throughout the city Is there a, let's see, I'd hit up like the public library, Oakmont University Library, or I could try doing that other one. Or. Or I can just look it up. Oh, okay, I see. Go to the police station and look up their crimes. Yep, that makes sense too. Is there a faster route? Potentially? Can we fast travel? Or do you have to go over to the thing? Or, I think you, you have to. Um, but there's also a boat around back. Tired of hearing that crying. <laughs> 
All right, so make a right and then straight and then right again. All right, so we're gonna go around the corner and chat with, uh, I get, I don't know if we chat or use the archives, but we need to look for whatever we can find, I guess. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? You and I have a problem, Funny. officer. No, Mr. Holmes. no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. All right, seems like a nice guy. Nobody's in jail. Here's their archives. So crimes, uh, violent crimes, victims. Data expedition of such crimes throughout the city. I should have thought about that. I uh, was killed in the fight. He carried a dagger. Dagger. Instruments of crime. Boom. Golden amulet, which res resembled a fish eye, and a dagger. Here from the fish market, I was able to. Police report. So, several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Uh, corner of Orchard Ave and Holy Fire Lane. Where was it? Fish market is located in the Eastern Shells. Eastern shells between Holy Fire Lane and Orchid Ave. Boom. Right there. Oh, wow, that's not far. Uh, yeah, if we just go out here, banging right at the end of the street by the uh, newspaper, then we're good. Staff only. <gasps> I don't know. Little floof. Mm -hmm. 
Hang a right. Then a left, I think. Yeah, it's like straight ahead. We'll have to hit up a, uh, a boat. Veteran. Come on in, miss. Good girl. All right, so. We're heading to the fish market to be able to find out if, uh, see if there's any leads we can find there at least on the guys that I uh, possibly stole or kidnapped the, uh, the lady, Harriet, or good old Mr. Uh, Rog Morton. It's definitely an interesting game, but uh, it's not bad. Damn, I'd say. It has a little bit of uh, messy. Fish, to it. fresh fish. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you Let's a go. penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. But like I, I said, that I can horrible. find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. What is the EOD? I mean, what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh, how do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, oh. many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. <laughs> it's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here oh, to speak I with the, the rain. EOD leadership. Jeez, not... You know where I can find him? <laughs> <laughs> not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. <coughs> Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Hey. Okay, tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guard scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Good. Thank you. Glad to see you again. Uh, okay. Do you want a fishy? You want a fishy? Ah, I'm not in the mood, newcomer. Stop it. And it is only fair to be afraid. Titanic forces are at work. I love NPCs that walk between cutscenes. than ourselves. Unknowable. Incomprehensible. There will be sacrifice. There will be loss. There will be darkness. But these are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time. And each of us has a part to play. And 
interesting speech. You really think there's an upside to all this? Absolutely. The darker the day, the brighter we can all shine. And we will all shine again soon. All that's needed is faith. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please, come to one of my full sermons. Ah, uh, Charles Reed. Good to meet you. <coughs> Blackwood. You're a member of the Grand Family. I am indeed. The last of that line. That looks like he's Inheritor boring. of an empty mansion and a severed history. You then. I'll see you around. See you. What are you selling, mister? I don't see any goods. I offer what everyone in this Borg needs most. Safety and comfort. You a newcomer? Where are you staying? The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, old Victor always thinks so small. A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money? And a job for a private eye, mister? I'm always up for a good side gig. Huh. That's what I like to hear. I'm Walter. I need someone capable to take care of an issue on my property. Local fauna, if you know what I mean. Real estate's a risky business. How'd you get into it? All my life I was a common fisk trader. But I wanted more. I dreamed of being a landlord, a man who never works. <laughs> so I scrimped and saved, and bought several houses. Gonna rent them to the refugees and newcomers. And I have even greater plans. Let me guess, you need a gun for hire. Or is there another task? I need you to place these incense burners on the top floor of my properties. To drive off the wild beasts. Take a photo for me as proof. Smoke that repels wild beasts. Does that even work? Of course it will. No doubt. I bought it from a friend I trust. Well, okay. Just see you later. Oh, so many, uh... So many quests. Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. Alright, uh, it's located in the shells, so this is part of that quest that the main quest we've been doing. Let's hit up this. Uh, so fish storage is in western shells on a hawking lane, on hawking lane between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Hawking lane shells. Yep, right here. So, how do we get over there? Can we run all the way over there or no? Uh, technically, yes. For the most part. Down Freedom Ave. Take right. Hit that. Boom, boom. And straight ahead. Okay, cool. So, is it this way? Yep. This is Freedom Ave right here. So, down this street... And then, uh, let's see what else. It, it's pretty cool how they, they tie in, like, all these stories. Um, I feel like they, this game does the, the stories pretty well so far. Uh, different cases and things like that. And if you wanted it to be more challenging, of course, you could have it. Um, not as, as scary as I thought it potentially would be so far. 
<laughs> and I hope it stays that way, to be honest. Because I'm not the biggest fan of scary games, so... It's more of like a, uh... Creepy vibe. Most of the time than it is scary. It took a completely different route than what I was thinking. Right now, too. But, uh, hey, as long as we get there, it doesn't really matter. See, yeah, we can turn right here. At first, I was like wondering why they were calling this place the flood for the longest time, or like saying, Oh, after the flood, but now I see with all the water everywhere. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, sir, you got business here. I do. I, I serve the sea. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> I see be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Daryl Grimes. Can you tell me what happened? And don't skimp on the details. <sighs> Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the God, moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. <laughs> and what did he steal? Or for nothing. I scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster. What's the deal with the the password and such? Orders from the higher ups. All right. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. The sea bless you. Pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. The hall's fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Oh, yar. Hey, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, God. Is he stressing? Why did it do that? Wait, how did I know? What? I have questions. Oh God. Got him. I, the guns sound pretty good in this game. It's pretty surprising. Seems like a nice place here. Hold on, let me open the door for my doggo.
All right, chat. I'm back. Thing's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. Wait, they're like rat crabs. What the hell? That's so bright. Wait, there's something. Definitely something up there. I think it's above me though. work when I was a kid I would have gone nuts for this well if it was finished that is this guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools uh, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children in these dark times you go mr. grind Still stuff to find here. For sure. Oh, here we go. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. Thought that was an enemy. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. with us just a little bit more oh, no. I hope professor Westerbrook never learns about this one up here darn pests Mayor, take them okay Let's see what we have here. Darn pests! Mayor, take them. One. Two. I hope Professor Westerbrook just a little bit more. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Ah, oh, damn. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Oh wait, you know what? That might be the last. Cause he has a harpoon in this. Oh wait, no, maybe it is. 
I don't know if he's picking it up or putting Our it down. Guests. Mayor, take them. Just a little bit more. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. No. Oh, okay. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Just a little bit more. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Darn pests. Mayor, take them. What the heck? Oh yeah, there's the thing. Maybe this is one? Darn pests. Mayor, take them. Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Just a little bit more. Oh, no. oh, maybe it's... Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. No. Okay. Maybe this one? Yeah. Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Darn pests. Mayor, take them. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Dude, what the hell? I, I don't know. Obviously, this is last. Because he misses. Westerbrook never do just a little bit more. Oh, no. Three darn pests, Mayor, take them. Four come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. What? I could have sworn that's the first the one I did. With an unknown substance that made a noise which alerted the guard who chased him out. Okay. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Uh, okay, garden. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna will quarter you. <laughs> You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's... Unexpected. Mm. Huh. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh, you go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective, and if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. 
go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. See ya. May the sea protect you. Well, how he mentions that last thing. Find place. Okay. Daryl asked me to report my findings to Anna in the fish market. Back over to the fish market. Uh, can we fast travel? No. Wow, that's <laughs> a lot of items there, geez. <sighs> Left and then basically straight. We still have stuff to look at. Mine place. Here we go. Man who broke into Yodu Fish has somehow connected the university. Any of us at the university? Okay. Bart is afraid of Anna. Okay. Nothing there. Large quantities of possibly poisoned fish have already been distributed to the city's poor citizens. Oh, I didn't realize he could uh, jump off like that. Pokemon is starving. EOD is giving fish away. Over to Anna to uh, find out what the hell is going on. I wonder if we actually let me check uh i don't know if there's a quick button to open up your inventory yeah it looks like it's just escape uh do we yeah we have full first aid kits take some ammo Almost back over to the uh, fish, yeah, here it is. Fish market is right here, and she's somewhere around the front. Fresh fish, fresh fish, just call me. Fresh fish, fresh Take fish. as much as you need. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish near as I can tell. He succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison, though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know, but I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. 
That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Fought like a lion, he missed the intrusion. Uh, did he want me to tell her? You should hire better guards. That jump was twiddling his thumbs and almost completely missed the break-in. <laughs> that piece of drock. Oh, God. I'll make sure he gets what's coming to him. Thank you for telling me, Charlie. Uh-oh. Now, Oops. refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there. Yes, that's right. Here and my ah, I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me? You've found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. I don't believe her one bit. See you later. I Glad did not believe a single word. She just went from being like, oh, I'll make sure he... Yeah. He, uh, punished. To literally... Oh, I never realized. I'm going to have to talk to somebody. No. No way. Uh, label has been scraped off and there's some powder residue on the bottom of the flask. And it broke on into the thing is connected to the university. I need to visit the I believe that is that right there? No city hall. There's the university. My way. So, best route of getting there is going up there, I guess. And then taking a boat. A boat. The game also reminds me a little bit of The Order, which was a decent extra, game. Extra. Had some uh, interesting change, or not changes, but uh, mechanics. Uh, hello. Hello. Whoa. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Uh, Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. With your mouth. I apologize for my bluntness, but. Can I ask you a question? Mouth? Yeah. Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but that can't be legal, can it? This looks like... It looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. That's terrifying. I need to see your book catalogs. Sure. 
Over there. And that's it? No payment, no threatening, no favors in return? No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, eyes. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in Dude, check. This guy runs the really? entire place. Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope. Can't imagine. Bye, Joy. Okay, then. Uh, and it broke into the is somehow connected to the university our history other other section Of water, of water for thirty time. This staff only. I do our history that so oh, cool author publisher in the fish storage guard plea
man who broke into is somehow connected. I need to visit the unit. Oh man. Mines are on our the gym. Am I at the public library? I'm at the public library. Not the univer university library. Oakmont University. That's where I need to get to. Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. Oh. I mean to do that. Maybe we can fast travel closer. Ah, mm -hmm. if you unlock the fast travel points too. Rip. Well, at least now we have the fast travel. I think there's one like always outside of the uh, local places. All right, so be it. I do like this city. Pretty, pretty interesting. Best stuff in Oakmont. All on sale. Today only. Why does that place look so much nicer than the rest? And that car is like actually working. knowledge point all right skills uh i might do in more experience from all sources in 50 percent chance to double quest reward item take that one i gained 10 percent more xp now that way we can uh level up keep leveling up faster Nice that it has a, the game has a combination of like different uh, ways of XP that you can get. So you have like exploration, you have um, quests, good amount of side quests. Oh yeah, this game also reminds me of like uh, the other extra, game. Extra, extra, all the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper um, Murdered whole suspect. Let's see. Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um, no. You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. Not Wendell. I'd reward you, of course. Oh my Charles Good. I am there the author I'm just gonna skip that. I'll pick it up, but I'm gonna skip it. What's your problem? 
No problem. Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. Uh, how can I help you? Oh. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Oh, oh ah, shoot. never mind. Uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You have... G This cultist <laughs> walks up just to be able to do that. Department of Medicine. Okay. How oh, nice is a fast travel point right here too. Let me grab that real quick. All on sale today only. There it is. Reed Heights Dow. Best stuff in Oakmont. All on sale today only. I think this is it right here. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Oh. All right. Yes. You solve our problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the... Oh. Another fetch quest. That's okay. They're, they're honestly not that bad in this game, I'd say. The OD is banned. Can't carry anymore. All right, let me make some items. UD ranks are swelling. No, 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 I'm just tied together yet. Ah. Come on up, boy. Oh, shit. Nice. The lab is clear. Fairman <sighs> Log, March 2nd. Wait a minute. <laughs> what kind of person would even touch this? Some serious equipment they've got here. Look, my university. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? So very tempting. Oh, hell no. Why did I press the button? Why did I press the button? Why did I press the button? Why did I press it? Oh my god. Out of ammo! 
Ah! Why would I press that button? Oh my god! Yo. Oh my god. Never press the button. March 10th. Wow, six days ago. Oh my god, why did I press the button? Gross. Person would even touch this, not to mention dissect it. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Wow, I love how I went from like having full ammo to no ammo. Great. The shell casings. the lab your lab is certified creature free oh excellent Mr. i didn't even know that was our you've done us a great favor now we can get things up and running again okay i've done my part here's the bottle now you run those tests uh we finished that analysis sir it's well it's ricin ricin a highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key. But please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about you. What do you want to know? I want to. He's the. And I. He. You. It's a lot of talking. I'll see. <laughs> he does second floor. Sounds good. More. All right. Key to the second floor. And the man who broke into it is somehow connected. The university got it. Westbrook has access to poison. Tie together yet. George. Cavendish. Boy.
No. And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. They literally say ricin. And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. I haven't finished my fairy my office. place so a secret chamber in the warehouse they made a secret key never mind uh the guard is afraid of anna there's a poison thief he made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker according to his student he lives somewhere in advent and then there's Evidence collected. Can you fill me in on? Of course. There's. I'm afraid not. Okay. The symptoms take several days to develop, but over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. I'll. See. I'd like... What do you... I want to know... He's the head of our department. He's been here for... Well... As you've already... Yeah... I've no idea... He thinks he's on the verge of a break... <sighs> Some... You... Oh. Alright, so... Somewhere in Advent... Where's Advent? Oh. You... All right. Let's see where he's at. Go visit City Hall. that his logo yeah the person let's see uh yeah we can take this this way honestly it doesn't really matter
Astra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. What do you want? Uh, just wanted to say hi. Oh, how nice for you. If you need to look anything up in our archive... Got it. Get in line? I'm the only one here. Well, I guess that means I'm first then. So, I can just go look up what I need. Don't sass me, young man. <laughs> Next time there could be a line here. Here and you'll get no special treat. Bye. I let him literally. <laughs> he says bye to everybody. What? Okay. So. Poison thief. Uh. Live somewhere in Advent. Citizens. After the flood. Citizen records. We have been. Okay. Google document. Oh wait. How about this. Um. There's Walter Cavendish, night 1883, Oakmont, Mass. Oh, I didn't realize this takes place in Massachusetts. It's supposed to be at least. Uh, he lives in Avent Central on St. Michael's Road. St. Michael's Road between Carpenter Street. St. Michael's Road, right here, Green Carpenter, I don't see that, in Constitution, the University Ave. University Street. Oh, there's Carpenter Street. Interesting. It could have just said Constitution Street and University Street. That makes more sense. Okay. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. All the news like. the, the, the print. Cheaper than the rest. Maybe because it's how oh, close they're down this way. Maybe it's this right here. Oh. Maybe that. It looks like it. The door won't budge. Apartment of G. Cavendish. It's gonna be dead. If you want it, take it. It's free. Now it does. Knock, knock. About half past two, get some soap. I always stays at the fish market. Get a return of plastic storage. One going gone. 
This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. And why keep it around? <sighs> the don't budge. I loved you. I always loved you. Hmm. You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. Wait. I'm leaving you, George. What if? George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I... I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna. I thought oh the child God. was mine. <laughs> mine! <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have here. I don't... George, you will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George? I don't care what you... You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Uh-oh. Blessed. Yo, what's going on, Silver Knight? How you doing? Oh, God. Don't look outside. Who? Who are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm oh. down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. <laughs> I love how we're magically awake now. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into that? my house. He, he has visions a, 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 a and passes out sometimes. Explain yourself. Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on. Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry. Don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police, 
they were no help at all. I think this guy is and the I'm most normal looking person we've met yet. And take them to court. What's Anna Even I don't to look do normal. with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea, that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call deep oh ones. My God, they, are. they take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah. Uh. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. What? Your agent inside the EOD. Is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah, I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right. Look, I'm going to need to think about this. Uh, of course. But don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. Okay. Well, let's see. Mind, please. Poisoning was a sabotage. George sabotaged the EOD, was in the fish to undermine EOD's charitable uh, chamber. The EOD has much more going on than charity organizations. They're dirty, I know it. Whatever they're up to isn't good. Tell a servant of EOD that Anna, Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant of EOD and she will follow any instruction without hesitation. So, oh boy, we have two options here. Oh god, there's no, oh my god. Okay, so the EID, the EOD helped George to undermine the EOD. Or, so, they're shady. What options do we have? So, 
Which one does this tie to? Zealous servant of EOD. Anna is covering up the EOD's shady ambition to take over the city. An honest benefactor, Anna does not on it, does honest charity work for the people of Oakmont on behalf of EOD. Became desperate after EOD robbed him. He's determined to save others from the same fate. His dangerous psychopath who won't hesitate to kill innocents to achieve his goals. Help Anna and the city. I should help Anna deal with the prisoner and help save the city from starvation. Or filthy liar, desperate savior. Or help George to undermine EOD. Loosen EOD's grip on the city. Well, sorry, I'm not killing innocents. Just even if she is bad, I'll deal with her at that point. So, in that case, so have you made up your mind? I'll help. Why? You deserve to die. <gasps> Yo, I can lie and help. I've thought about your proposition. Your methods stink, and your plan stinks. Still, the EOD is a threat. And I'm not going to help them anymore. I'm in. Oh, you're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. It's heavily guarded. But you'll figure out something, I've no doubt. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet. <laughs> nice. EOD fish storage. So now what? Uh, I know for the fact the poisoner is George Cavendish. I can report to the Santa and the fish market. Rice gave me, or rice and he gave me the first storage. After that, I'll need to meet with the corner of Hawking. He needs this in order to accomplish his goal in exchange. He promised me to connect. Then Western shells on Hawking. After that, I'll be able to meet at the corner of Hawking. Okay. Oh, let's go back to Anna. Is that all evidence collected? Wait, not all evidence was collected. I'm missing some stuff. Yes? Do you need something? What is it? This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. more I know what this is game uh what this game is really but I'm very bothered by his pop-up collar <laughs> yeah what's going on Harris how you doing <laughs> this is a little uh a little intense but I like this better than his default outfit a lot more. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been. Oh wait, there's a, a broken bottle time. on the ground. And why keep it around? Oh, never mind. That's not anything special. 
Come on, there's got to be something. Oh, there it is. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. There it is. All evidence collected. It was a dress in the closet. Rip. Okay. Let me remove that. Remove that. And let's see. Fast travel point. I don't know if there's any closer fast travel points besides potentially this one. But I don't know. And right. Actually, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll go to that one. I don't know if I have the, this one unlocked anyways. Yeah, it looks like I did. That's okay. This game's pretty interesting though. Uh, it definitely has a very moody... Uh... <laughs> Uh, mood moody mood to it but it's uh it's pretty cool too same time go to wait is that devil's root like this devil's root or wait why is devil's reef right there i think we have to go to this one Robert Rogmorton wants me to find Professor Harriet Doe. Harriet Doe. This way. And then we'll go left. That's pretty much straight from there, I think. There's the cultist. Yeah, the fish market's like straight ahead. Uh, yeah, we can go right here. Quick and easy boat ride. Somebody else just went there to knock. That's funny. Okay. Fish? Fresh fish? I've found your poisoner. Oh, see, bless you, Charlie. Oh, thank goodness. Who is it? Well, that's the peculiar part. It's your ex-husband. Your ex-husband. George Cavendish. Oh. <laughs> so that oh. son of a rotten shark finally decided to show up. We'll find him. Then I'll have a word with him in person. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. You're taking this remarkably well for a woman who just found out her ex-husband is a poisoner. He's nobody to me. The EOD is my family now, and we serve a higher purpose than he could ever grasp. My life finally has meaning. And now, we're going to relieve him of the burden of his miserable existence. You've done us all a great service, Charlie. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your grand poobah or whoever's in charge, now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an insmouther there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time. Nice. 
All right. Contact a high-ranking member of EAD in Innsmouth. They're named Maurice. So find him in the basement of the fish market. I am, I am to tell him she sent me. Basement. Oh. Oh, well, there's the door to the basement right there. Maurice. Oh, this seems sketchy. Craft some ammo. There's no point. Fine. Okay. Knock, knock. Hello? Anybody? Hello? Jesus. Sir. Oh shit, sorry. Oh my god. I'll put her away, I'll put her away. Are you serious? Oh thank god. Wait. Dude, I didn't know. Oh my God, dude. Holy crap. This was seconds before we walked in there. Listen, my gun is away. My gun is away. I'm I'm here to talk to you. Oh my god. Yo, Death Star Dry, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. How you doing? No way, dude. Are you kidding me? Do I fail this if I kill them all? Note to Maurice. Wait. Kill him. Hey. Oh shit. It was a, uh, it was a setup the whole time. That's why. <laughs> well, that explains it. Wow. He really is that corrupt. Damn. Really? Wow. Unbelievable. Help Anna and save the city. Oh god. What a, a traitor. They come up hey. here. Hey, Mr. Reed. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a professor, though. Ain't that right? The scientist the order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. Alright. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. Alright. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You in England what's coming? I want out. Of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, uh -oh. it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, 
I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. What is this order you mentioned? Uh, yeah. You don't know, do you? EOD. It really stands for the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Dagon? An old, old being from the depths of the sea. In books, they show him as a monstrous amphibian. The Innsmouthers worship him as a god. And of course, they make sacrifices to him. In blood. All right, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the Professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. All right. Jeez. Me go report to Mr. Throgmorton. And definitely go get this uh, fast travel point before we go there all right there we go uh oh man now he probably has a fast travel point like right outside his place but i haven't gone to it yet so let's go here then for now don't really have any other option Ay, 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 ay. Wow, that was pretty fast. Okay. Um, I can find him in his manor in Old Grove. Okay, just want to make sure. And actually, I'm gonna place that marker there for him. That way we always know where we're going here. That was one of like the first places that we investigated. That building right there. This looks so funny. All right, hop on this, and we can actually now that we know there's actually a place in the backyard thing. Yeah, right here. You can hop off. And Mr. Wow, they're still doing this. Wait, who's that? Is that a new person? What? Is that a cake? Wait. They made a cake. That's a cake. Out of the guy. What the hell? There's missing pieces there too. Two people. That is terrifying. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy Innsmouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. EOD and Innsmouthers are not the same. Not all Innsmouthers are the bad. Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought to examine your prejudices. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you something needs to change. Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Kay's sake. I know. But what did you do to prevent it? 
You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I... shall think about what you've said. Wow. <sighs> Back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Doe. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now, leave. rifle. I've heard enough from you. Give me a rifle. 12 gauge. Hey, shotgun. Nice. Okay. All right. Can I have some of this cake before I leave? I can't believe they made a cake out of his son. Uh, okay, skills. Do more materials. Good. Save ammunition when crafting. We also do health. More rifle rounds. Shotgun rounds. Falling from heights deal half the damage. Man eating eels deal half the damage to you while swimming. Whoa. Melee does more damage. Uh, keep an extra bullet loaded, gaining a chance to deal double damage. Higher proficiency with battle rifle. Submachine gun. Reload your revolver faster. Um. Gain double the reward. Insane for longer. Uh, let's do carry 25. That way we can keep crafting. Wasn't expecting the crafting to be as intense, but hey. Any more shell casings? The next part we're going to is leader of the lost expedition. He won't tell me a location until I arrange safe passage for him out of the city. He suggests using the smuggling ring. He believes that the smugglers communicate secretly using advertisements station, harbor, and look for most of the new men. Is this one called? Fathers and Sons. So, newspaper is right there. Where is, I'm sure there's a fast travel point. Yep, there it is. Oh shit. A coil twitch bot. Yo, thank you for the 100, uh, the 100 bits. Appreciate it. That's 200 biddies within the last two days. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think it's an actual bot. Still, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but okay. For a bot to, uh. What's your problem? What's your problem? Take that. I really thought that I aggroed those guys the other day, or when we went into the basement. But they were actually there to kill me. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So Fred's demand. I uh, believe smugglers communicate using advertisement. So advertisements. I uh, Salvation Harbor and after the flood toothless bob's wake the time has come to send toothless bob on his final journey this time to the seven oak bar well that was pretty easy seven oaks bar in western salvation harbor 
uh, at the intersection of Palm Shore Street and Salvation Street. Oh, that's literally right there. Cool. Closest spot. Uh, I'd probably say go back to the fast travel point. What's your problem? While we're traveling, I'm just gonna run this. gonna go straight twice so we'll hop on a boat hop off the boat hop on another one hop off it and then run I a little bit yeah right there then right there looks like an old western town huh. right here let me save just in case Nice, there's a fast travel point up here too. Right there, Salvation Harbor with. Okay. Oh, crap. Now, where is the bar? Seven Oaks. Boom. Right here. to leave the city a uh, little bird told me there are people in oakmont who can help me leave town maybe maybe not what makes you think i know anything came from your toothless bob's wake i've heard they're having a wake for toothless bob here that may be true but i don't know you from adam prove you ain't some gumshoe maybe i can do you a favor or throg more come on you can trust me Ask Mr. Throgmorton. He can vouch for me. <laughs> if you think I'll trust you just because you were doing business with that ape, then you've got another thing coming. But you're still alive. That means you've got something going for you. Okay. What about a little favor? Just ask Nothing about fancy, the favor. don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life, if you catch my drift. Bye. Okay. Let me check upstairs. Actually, go 
gotta check upstairs in the basement. There's a bunch of weapons. Load this. Nice. Goes back here. All right, where's this place that he wanted me to go to? That he marked it on the map. For the Oaks. Uh, the courier went missing. On a house on Levi Coffin Ave, not far from the crossroad with Mark Ave Western Grim Haven. Uh, Western Grim Haven Bay, Levi Coffin Ave. Right here. Not far from the crossroad with Mark. Okay, so just about right there. And I have a nice fast travel point right outside that. Whoops. <laughs> Still keep doing that. Nice. Padlocks and weak plants can be broken with gunfire. Planks can be broken with gunfire or melee weapons. Alright. save just in case oh shit holy fuck Son. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There it is. carry anymore I think that's a medic pack so, hey, let's see if I can make more now yeah that gun gun shells Oh god. Wait, I do have some ammo. God damn it. 
I'm so screwed. Get over here. I'm going insane. I wonder if you can clear the area. Does it work like that? Nice. Inventory. So somewhere around here. He's asleep. What was this thing called again? Oh, wait, there it is. Found it. Courier's final destination. Oh, that seems promising. Come on up. Left by something heavy with wheels. The blood's almost dry. Oh, shit. I've seen ashes like this before. Well. That's one way to get rid of a corpse. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. We messed up. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. So they poured it all over the man's body. Okay. The ski crate and Done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him, boys. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. Two, three, one, two, three. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Time to figure this out. Guessing one. You're done, kid. Two. No mercy, three, boy. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Four. A drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Now. 
one. Drock. Who's up? You're done, Three. kid. No mercy, Four. boy. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Someone was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. All evidence collected. I hate the fish eye. Kinda messes with my eye. And let's see. Take any loot. Can't carry anyone. Inventory. What was that? What was that last item actually? Check. Uh, scrap, I think. Yes. Yeah, this thing. What is that used for? Metal scrap, uh, used for that. Metal scrap, foot trap, gunpowder. Ooh. Now we're kind of low on ammo and other items, but hey. Uh, so rare crate containing three bottles of whiskey. It appears he was murdered by cooperating with this. Uh, Kerr is very only murdered. Okay, got it. So now back down this way. I kind of don't want to go that way. Let's take the long way. I never realized that he, uh, he always held something in his hand while he was running around. Oh, now he put it. He put it away. Where's the fast travel? It's the end of this street. to the bar find place no clues okay On your courier wait what if i i just realized what if i'm the son of anna and the other guy and that's why they say be born or whatever all right <laughs> anyways on your courier i brought the crate <sighs> well i found your courier i hate to break it to you but he's dead someone didn't like him talking to the cops and well they made it pretty savage. Ah, oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? A boss. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. 
There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. <laughs> Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Bye. Bye. Ah, uh, new mind place clue. Bam. Smuggler's boss, ruthless tyrant. <laughs> Rooch. All right. Southern Salvation Harbor, an alley on Windmill Ave between Octopus Ave and Skipper Road. Southern Salvation Harbor, that's right here. Skipper Road and Octopus Ave. Octopus. Where's the octopus? Bayside, Octopus Ave, Skipper Road. Boom, right there. An alley on Wind, so, uh, well, yeah. an alley on so, Windmill Ave where's Windmill Ave Mill, Windmill Ave between Skipper and okay there it is it's funny I actually went right past that earlier and if we fast travel right there then it'll be a boat ride over <laughs> I love the fast traveling and it, and it loads pretty fast too. Um, I, I honestly was not expecting this to be this, like, although it, it does have a little like rough spots of this game, it's not bad, not bad at all. So I, I've actually been enjoying it a good amount. Um, I'm surprised. So right, right now this game's actually, I think it's only on Epic games. But it's also, if you have EA Play Pro, which is $100 a year, um, but you get access to all EA games on PC um, and some additional games. And this is one of those additional games. Um, so I have it in included with that, which is actually pretty cool. I, I'd say it was uh, well worth it. Well worth trying it out at least. Still have the uh, the other game too that I would eventually like to try out. Um, what is it? Not the Sinking City. Oh, it's literally like all all of Cthulhu or something like that. Similar, but I think that game is first person. What's your problem? All right. Is it right here? Windmill Ave. It says between Windmill Ave and Skipper Road. Uh, Rendezvous Point an Alley on Windmill Ave between Octopus Ave and Skipper Road. Southern. What does one do with a dog? The answer, answer, the dog is rabid, so it must be killed. Dog is rabid, so it must be killed. That, is that the, uh, fine. An alley on, well, that looks like an alley. Don't do that again. Sorry. This looks like an alley. Hey fella, what do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? Kill it because the dog is rabid. I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. I don't trust you, I'll go by myself. Lead the way. Just west. take me to your boss. Just take me to your boss. Muggler's meeting point. All evidence collected. Wow, that was freaking easy. Okay. So, 
all of a sudden he like turns around. Mugglers hide out. Hello there. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Jeez. Who are you? And what the drop do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. Private eye? Let's just say I'm a private detective and leave it at that. <laughs> Cocky, ain't you? So be it, kid. I have a pretty good idea who you might be. You were working for Throgmorton, right? So, what do you want? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do Drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing. But it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter, rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing, someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. I was covered in this weird, rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. What so I decided to get out and hole up here gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, yeah, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manor. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer, after all. Here's the address. I got it. It appears you're quite capable. Does your curiosity always beat out your cur- I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair. You mentioned your- Graham? Why- You sound pretty sure of- Of course. Graham is too honest. Of course we've had our differences. 
especially about goodbye all right fair enough geez that guy gave us a lot of stuff or information just calm least. down no need for violence i'd have broken all your bones fella <laughs> if papa brute hadn't put you off limit papa brute papa brute i love how <laughs> same exact interior as the other place i was in so many similar spots on these sometimes okay let's see whoa what gives a little blackmail a little larceny a worthwhile scrap or two just like the old days do you like it here newcomer well get used to it no one leaves oakmont nowadays Yeah, get that. I can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. The blood dried not too long ago. Oh. We gotta dump this garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. This garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. I don't know why they did that. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two, just like the old days. Oh, damn. They walked in the door, pop. That's all of her blood. And they her down there and there she is I can ask him I'm a dead woman funny thing I found a dead woman in your basement now I don't suppose you had your men kill her quiet you you're scaring Mary look she didn't die by my order kid take my word for it and the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. Goodbye. Okay. After he regains power over his family, he'll continue as he always has. Murder will be the start. Rush with death can make him more compassionate. You can see how precious. Second chance for Brutus or Brutus's. Is... Just saying. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So double, uh, double in the manor. Or Brutus testimony. A week ago, Brutus woke up. In Southern Reed Heights. He was naked, covered. Brutus is going to be so lucky for him. He managed. To escape. Uh, someone close to him planned to do way with him and then take his position he doesn't remember much but thinks that the diary from the safe in his room maybe help him discover who he was or who it was get inside the manor without closing an alarm carpenter's manor is in southern old grove one okay wait there's still something here hold up there's still stuff here to, to explore or find. Hold up. How are you doing, handsome? Uh, map markers. 
Cheers. Actually, I'll tag this anyways. Carpenter Manor, Southern Old Groove. Gold. Uh, Old Groove, Old Groove. Which is right here. Gold Bringer. Road between Century Ave and Hillside or Hill Street. Okay, it's right there. And the other one is Crematorium. Yeah. I can hear it. It just started like right now. It's pouring now. Uh, let's see. I can hear it. Sounds like I'm listening to the AC. It just started pouring out of nowhere. That's so weird. Uh, okay, do all that is that. Crematorium, Southern Reed Heights corner. Reed Heights, Reed Heights. Corner of Wayne Street and Phillips Street. Just like stop. Corner of Wayne or Wayne Road. Go. Yeah, right here. Wayne Road. Wayne Road. And Phillips Street. Oh, it's probably right here then. This thing. Thing. Or something around there. Because that's Wayne and Phillips. Okay. Seems like a pretty off place too. I think so. <laughs> All right, one second chat. So, I still didn't get everything. I can't you imagine. I could hear a newcomer it. for whoever lost all this blood. Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. Is that it? The blood dried not too long ago. Come on, there's got to be something. I know there is. Hey, what's your business, kid? Hey, you can actually just shoot them. 
How are you doing, handsome? Hey, what's your business? I've just broken all your bones, fella. No if Papa Fruit hadn't put you off limits. Blackmail, a little larceny, a work by a scrapper key, just like the old days. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, man. Where's the last thing at? I'm trying to find this last thing. You like it here, newcomer? Where would it be? It's probably something very, very simple. A little blackmail, yeah. Whoa, a little marks for what gives? Work by a scrap so or two. For quality. Just like Maybe the old gears in better shape. Dude, I don't know. It's gonna be the dumbest thing ever. Wait. Thought I saw it for a second. What's your business, kid? Dude, I don't know. I'm about to look it up. I'm literally about to look it up. I've gotten every single one so far. I can't find this one.
examine the stain on the floor. Stain on the floor. Okay, that's... Uh, I know which one that is. I think. Let's see. This stain's almost gone. My god. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> That's all we needed. Ah. Okay. Well, we got it finally. Uh, let's see. Is there a fast travel? Like there's one right here. Is that nearby? Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, let's hit this fast travel point and go over. I forget where the next one. Oh, yeah, it was, he said up here. So the, his manor is right there. Okay, and chat, I'm gonna call it right here uh, until tomorrow, where we'll pick up right here specifically, uh, and we'll go from there. Um, we made some decent.